All right, the next caller we have is Sue from Michigan. Sue, can you hear us okay? Yes, I can. Can you hear me? I can. There's a bit of background noise. You... That's better. Oh, I'm running to the office. I'm at work. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> You're fine. You're fine. Um, How can we help you today, Sue? I, uh, well, I um, have been married for five years, um, five and a half years, and uh, found out that my husband has been on a limerent relationship back in November. Mm. Um, and I swear, swear marriage helper has been my godsend through all of this. Um, Good. He's still, I feel he's still in the relationship. He says he's not, but, mm -hmm. uh, or that he's waiting and that if it's meant to be, it'll be. Um, but he also says that about us. Mm -hmm. And so um, we started counseling. It wasn't very good. You know, she suggested to me that I get a divorce. So I didn't mm -hmm. pursue that anymore. Good. Uh, but I've been listening to all your podcasts and all your information, and it's just been wonderful. It's really good. gave me hope and helped, you know, get me through all of this. Mm -hmm. um, I finally got him to agree to come to the Marriage 911, okay. and I was talking to Johnny there at Marriage Helper, and he's mm -hmm. been very helpful. Excellent. Um, and I'm having an issue, though. I feel like I'm walking on eggshells all of the time. Mm -hmm. I mean, I just don't. He's just not the same person anymore. We just don't communicate like we used to. Mm -hmm. uh, he's kind of short with me. He's never had a short fuse with me before, and now mm -hmm. I'm. You know, I understand that he's under a lot of pressure and all of that I've been trying to practice you know doing my pies and mm -hmm. uh, all of that Good. but um, I still just never know when I'm gonna put him over the edge I, I have a feeling that he's getting pressured from both sides oh, I'm sure he is and he mm -hmm. won't let me see um, I'm sorry he won't let me see the phone records mm -hmm. um, which is you know a big flag to me that he is still talking to her and doesn't want right. to admit it but, um, so I kind of let that go, but then I found out after he told me that he'd go to the marriage 911 that he's been hiding the fact that he's been charging all of his business expenses um, for a business that we purchased a year and a half ago, uh -huh. or two years ago. Um, he's been charging all of his expenses to try to get the business off the ground. And so now, I had that to deal with, thinking we're going to probably have to file bankruptcy. Um, mm -hmm. You know, he just kept it from me and told me, well, he didn't want me to worry and he didn't want me to be hurt. Right. Um, you know, all these different excuses. Okay. So I just don't know how to handle it all and not freak out all the time when I find something out. Okay, and that's a great question. Sue, when are you guys scheduled to come to the, uh, the three-day workshop? We haven't scheduled it yet because after I found that out, I was like, okay, now what am I going to do? I don't, <clears throat> if he's, he maxed out the credit cards that he had back in the fall, mm -hmm. right before I um, found out about the affair, mm -hmm. he had me sign some documents that put me on a consolidation loan that he had. And then... Mm -hmm which I, I thought that he was just trying to pay down some things that he had. I didn't realize that this is what okay. happened, and I was really naive. So are you, I didn't ask, you say he's questions. agreed to come to the workshop, is that correct? Yeah. Okay, yeah. and, and uh, what I'm hearing you say is that you have not yet scheduled a workshop. Do you intend to? I want to really bad. I'm just afraid now because I don't know where this is going to put us with you know, this just compiled the problem with the affair. Now I got to worry about bankruptcy too. Okay, and, and I, I'm, I understand I'm that quite a bit. Quite a bit. What? I'm sorry. I'm older than he is. Um, okay. I'm 55 years old. Uh, he's 12 years younger than I. Okay. And so, you know, it might not be such a devastating thing to him, but it is to me. I didn't want to have to work. You know, right. I understand. Until I die. <laughs> okay. So here's kind of the way to look at it, my friend. Here's what I'm suggesting, Sue. 
You can try to solve all your problems before you come to the workshop, or you can kind of just put everything on hold and say, okay, obviously we got into this over a period of time. It didn't happen overnight. And, and we're probably not going to fix it overnight either. And if we go to deal with some professionals, like not a marriage counselor that says you just need a divorce, but if you come to people like us, and for example, you've been looking at ours and you've been talking to Johnny, who's excellent, mm -hmm. coming to the workshop, when people actually get their spouse to agree to the workshop, what we normally recommend is this. Okay, just kind of back off on things now. Don't try to fix anything. Don't try to solve anything now. Because if you can get your spouse, if he or she's already agreed to come to the workshop, then come to the workshop. Let us do the things that we do there. And if those things work, and then we, not, we don't say that they do it 100%, you understand? We don't lie to people. But our success rate is three out of four, which is pretty doggone good. If you can go ahead and, and yeah. come to the workshop and, and work that out, then your ability to solve the problems afterwards are a whole lot better than they are now. And so typically here's what we suggest. Rather than trying to figure out, okay, what do we do about the potential bankruptcy now? What do we do about the, the uh, affair or whatever now? Is say, okay, if he or she's agreed to come, let's just let everything lie even for a while. Let, I'm not gonna push anything. Let's go ahead and get to the workshop so we can get the professional help that we need from people who really wanna help us save the marriage. And then those issues do have to be dealt with, but we can deal with it a whole lot better then because we'll have tools then, both of us will have tools then that we don't have now. Is this making any sense to you at all, sir? I've been thinking about that, thinking, you know, I just, I got to, once we can get there and, right. you know, I don't know how it all works there, but it just sounds wonderful from all the reviews that I've read. And it's just mm -hmm. like my saving grace. It's <laughs> what I think is my last hope. Well, um, I can't say I that just, we're your last hope, but I can tell you this, that what we do is very effective. I cannot guarantee that it works for everybody. You understand that because we don't lie to people, but it's extremely mm -hmm. good, has a very high success rate. And so my suggestion is give Johnny a call and say, look, I've just talked to Dr. Beam and he says, we need to go ahead and figure out how to get to this workshop. Johnny, help us figure out how to get there. And then back off on these other things. After you come to the workshop, then, then you'll have the tools to do what you need to do. Kimberly, what would you add to that? I you know, the only thing I would add to that is to just not let fear guide this decision. That's correct. So the fear of, well, what if we go bankrupt, this, that, or the other. If your husband's spending the way that he's spending now, the $2,000 is going to go somewhere no matter what. I mean, it's going to go somewhere. So it might as well use it towards getting the help that you need to make your marriage work. And I wouldn't let this be a fear-based decision, but a hope-based decision. What's going to lead us in the direction of getting us the most hope? And even if by chance you did wind up bankrupt, which I hope does not occur, but that doesn't mean that's the end of your relationship mm -hmm. and it doesn't mean it's the end of your future. Mm -mm. Uh, I mentioned my, my friend Dave Ramsey a few minutes ago. Dave went bankrupt, and now he's the richest man I know. <laughs> There's always ways to get past oh, wow. where you are now. And uh, so yeah. stop operating out of fear, my friend. Call Johnny back and say, we need to get to that workshop, Johnny. Help us figure out how to get there sooner than later. Okay? Okay. Okay, uh, wonderful. Yeah, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. We're going to make it happen somehow. Good. Thank you. Wonderful. That's the day. mindset to have. Now, it sounds to me like Sue's at a party. Did you hear all that background She's noise? at work. <laughs> well, that work must be a fun must place. Must be a party. Yeah, they like have a mimosas. Fun place in the background. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.